Welcome back everyone. Let's play World of Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 72. Well into our war with the United States, having already accrued a few victories, obviously the biggest one being that surprise attack. Uh, quick, like, technical aside, um, this video may have more background fuzz on it than normal. I'm in the middle of two computers and that's also not just a technical aside about background noise, which by the way is something I'm looking into, maybe using some of the generous donations to fund a better microphone and probably one of those input uh, whatever audio boxes that allows you to do some you know noise suppression um, yeah I think that's a very welcome thing this is very low rate like second class what I'm doing at this point so time to move but what I want to say is the switch of computers so hooray by the way I have a new computer now um, the problem is it's going to require rule the waves email to the developer and all, I mean not to the developer but to to Chris Christine I think at NWS so as we all know <laughs> that can take a variable number of days hopefully not more than a week so I'm trying to do a, a quick backlog but there's the off chance that episode 73 or 74 may come out um, a little bit later than expected depending on how quickly people get back to me so um, we know that that's kind of an interesting quirk with Rule the Waves, but uh, nonetheless, we'll, well, I mean, I'll do the best I can. I'm going to try to do, this is a video backlog. I, already, I have not even put out 71 yet, so I'm trying to plan ahead a little bit. Anyway, that's enough about that. Uh, is there anything we need to do? I think we are currently invading the Philippines, which is fantastic. We've had a successful mission against it so far. Some fortifications were holding us up. Um, that makes sense because they do have two batteries there, so they, you know, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to take. Now, that said, I mean, if you look at this from a strategic standpoint, the Philippines is completely surrounded by Japanese waters, and obviously our home fleet is much, much less of a distance to travel. In fact, Southeast Asia is even considered home waters, not completely home, but like, you know, we can upgrade ships there. Um, we just have a huge presence there. It's like second home to us. So, one would expect invading the Philippines for us will go even easier than it went for the Japanese in World War II, historically, which was already by itself, you know, not a total cakewalk, but pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> we do not plan to have any of the death marches, not in this alternate universe. <laughs> so, a shame that uh, such things happen in war. And it's always, I think it's always good to remember that we're playing a war game and we're very abstracted from all that, but war is terrible. It really is terrible. And I, I try to remind myself that often when I'm playing video games, which they don't intend to, but even the ones that really try not to, they still in some ways glorify it because it's really fun. Even though, you know, obviously that's nothing like real war. So... Yeah, what about this funding situation? I think I'm just going to live with it because we have two ships that should be... Oh, we don't. So we're negative despite that. Even though we don't have an invasion, you'd say. Okay, well, I can probably put the Shinjitsu back on halt. This is bad, though. It means we're going to slowly lose months lost development. I won't be positive here. Okay, let's just do this for a month. Another battle and support. Yep, let's do it. They keep giving me these softballs. Okay, this one has the Shinigami. No way! Take back what I said about a softball. This is... <laughs> the only thing which really surprises me is so it's twilight in the very morning. We're going to have a whole day of getting bombarded by aircraft. Wow, that's fantastic. Out of all the missions. Normally I would be ecstatic, though, that we're getting a chance to use uh, essentially our version of the Yamato. And you know what? I still am ecstatic. I'm not going to let this drag me down. So good luck to us. Do I want to launch... Well, I didn't... I guess I'll say yes. Oh. Do we not have any float plans on the Chunchamaru? I don't think so. Okay, if we're spotted by aircraft, I would much rather the Sapporo be supporting me instead of scouting. 
for now I'm gonna leave it, but if we get detected by aircraft, then maybe these guys will detect something, which would be pretty interesting. Right now the recon planes are just going out. We can kind of judge the enemy distance, but it's not that far. I'm just trying to gauge when I have to tuck in my scout to be um, anti-aircraft support instead of, you know, lead scout. I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather just keep going and aircraft or they're going to go way, to, way too far. Pfft. That's why uh, it's just, even though I only have battleship, it's always better to set this yourself. Obviously they didn't find anything over here, so, you know, we're going to swing towards this red dot. Obviously, I'm kind of hoping we find something. There we go. And I don't think, I, I'm guessing that this is, we'll go ahead and put you on manual control. And I think I'm going to have you be support from here on in. Take you down to 20 knots. High confidence that this is not a destroyer. At most, I think maybe, maybe a Corvette. Yeah, and patrol boat class means it's not a strategic ship. It's only something generated for this map, for this tactical battle, which means we don't have any strategic benefit besides the victory points for sinking it. It's kind of important to remember because the other Corvettes are, I mean, if they're not named this, if it's like, you know, the Kai class or something, who knows? Um, that's an actual Corvette that you can sink and the Americans will have one less of them. Um, putting this many six inch rounds into this thing, she's, I'm guessing, already dead. Well, even this old Corvette can take a few six inch hits and four inch hits. Okay, oh, see, it's doing that thing again. Gosh, I really, really hate that. Okay, she's dead, so now what we're gonna do is restrict all gunfire. And Shinigami also gonna have her restrict gunfire for a little bit. And at this point, we're just going to run under manual control for both of these. So I can both scout and not scout at the same time, as in be close enough to uh, react if we start getting approached by aircraft. And although this is going to be a little bit difficult to do on normal, I'll try to manage both at the same time. Okay, this is good. The fact that we scouted that so far away is curious. And the Shinigamis have some good, sp oh my gosh, it's perfectly matched. It's a dream come true. Actually, we would prefer us score to be a little bit faster, but let's kick it up to 25. This thing is definitely eluding us. So it is not a merchant ship. It is definitely not a merchant ship. I don't know what it is, but we are, this is obviously something we're interested in sinking. This thing is just ripping. Light cruiser. Okay. There's. Well, we don't have. We can just charge straight for them. We don't have any. <laughs> Transport. That is not. That cannot. Did you see that thing avoiding my light cruiser at 25 knots? Wait. Are we going 25 knots? Well, we're going 24. It's still pretty significant. All right, I'm gonna have the Shinigami hold fire still. And we might, I might even just have my destroyers take these out. Okay, let's actually just manually control everything. I have a feeling I still have this like, maybe it's not just a feeling, maybe it's just a hope. 19, 11, 27, 27. Okay, so you guys are going to switch over to support the Shinigami. And you're going to switch over to screening for the Shinigami, I guess. Or really, I'm going to have you screen for the CL. And we'll have you support, actually. Okay, and then I'm going to actually take you off this. Because you don't need to be anywhere near, since you're kind of useless to me. <laughs> you don't have the, you're not useless, you're just not useful as an escort to my battleship. I'd much rather you be, oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. Do not launch torpedoes. And what in, what in tarnations is this guy doing? Okay, j fine, just clear, clear your gun barrels. It's gonna have this guy do it, but fine, okay. And no 
torpedo launching. Please, no torpedo launching. You don't have any torpedoes? That's good. Okay, good. <clears throat> Are we detecting anything else? Sometimes I tunnel vision. Let's try not to do that. Actually, let's send you... I know, we will just send you up this way. Okay, good. No torpedo launching. Okay, she's a goner. Um, slow her down to 24. I think the Shinigami is losing speed in her turns, which would make sense. Okay, now we're hitting the mediums. That's good. Hopefully those guys don't launch torpedoes. I guess I can just put them on manual control just to prevent them from being really stupid. I could really, really use those torpedoes later if it ends up being, you know, a situation where we encounter something juicy. And we will take any fight with a Shinigami. I will go three on one. I'm pretty confident about the Shinigami. And very excited to use it. I just really hope we do actually get a chance. Man, this thing's not reacting to my commands. So 24, 20, oh yeah, you don't need to be that. In fact, you can go back to AI control now. Um, should we like kind of graze the bay? I think so. We'll have this destroyer kick off in its own direction. Kind of scout out. We'll scout this way. And then we'll come back up north. Everyone will converge north if we don't find anything. We'll be in radio communication. Um, slow you down to 24 maybe. Okay. Pretty risky to go in here with my battleship just because of mines. So I'm going to pull back with the, the battleship. And really, I, th I think that, yeah, we have pretty good vision, so we haven't spawned anything. We're not going to go any deeper. We'll come back. Our scout planes are going to return. That's pretty good timing. This is an okay place for us to slow down, to recover. I don't think we'll be launching anymore, so we'll probably just keep making our trip up to the next port. No. Yeah, so how would we... Yeah, they think... I mean, the fact that these are pointing south, does that mean that the fleet is possibly south? Oh, man, I just really wish I knew where they would be. Okay, well, we already committed. We made a decision. I didn't see the float plane scout. I should have done this before, but... They kind of want us to go down that way. Have there been any reports? No. All right, fair enough. We keep going. You know, maybe I send the light cruiser south. Now the light cruiser has. You have AA, right? Yeah, twenty. So we'll send these destroyers south. They may be like completely <laughs> out of the fight. Or, alternatively, my battleship could be out of the fight when we don't find anything up here. <clears throat> Seems about right, though. It's just about the direction we want to go. Let's go down here and see what we find. A little bit of scouting has been done. Oh. Cruiser. Well, it's something. I bet it is in the bay then, so we will return. It's the only report we've got, so let's go. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. It is a transport, we will go over and sink it. And this is this actually buys me time for this fleet to get closer, because it, it's possible, it's definitely possible that the mission will end. Oh man, I almost want to push the engines on this a little bit. Okay, so let's get going this way, this way. 
quickly. And maybe I'll play with my food a little bit here just to buy time for the guys up north. They've abandoned ship. <laughs> oh no, they're on to me. They're not going to let me do it. Oh wow, okay, that was that was quick. Okay, I need to make my way up this way then. Kind of a fun little mission so far though. Um I'm gonna say yes to this. Could use all the points. This is I like lest us lest I forget, lest we forget. This is a an invasion support mission, so we really want to get the points for it. There's a few over here. We'll gladly take those as well if we can get them. Let's go up to squad max. I don't... This light cruiser doesn't have to do any more... Yeah, so yes on that. This light cruiser doesn't have to do any more work, assuming we find only a light cruiser. Because my battleship will destroy it. Just destroy it. It'll be a destroyer. Oh, wait! <laughs> Why are these naming schemes the way they are? It was a gunboat destroyer, I think, is the original name for a destroyer, where it comes from, from the 1900s, when they would destroy those torpedo boats. No, it was a torpedo destroyer? Torpedo gunboat destroyer? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. All right, dang it, it's actually getting dark. We know she's in there, so we're going in. But uh, probably with the, okay, yeah, actually we have a plan here too. With the lack of aircraft, we're gonna use our, our other battle, our other destroyers to go in there and scout. And actually, let's take you guys off AI control. Squad max. Yeah, so here we go. I'm going to try to follow the steps of the destroyers so that I don't hit a mine. Is this... Are you... Who is... Who is the correct leader of this division? Can you merge? Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's slow this guy down to 20. This guy can catch up a little bit. You can speed on in. So we found him here. We did sweep some mines recently, so I'm hopeful that'll be helpful. Wow, visibility is not good. <laughs> Might have put themselves into a corner. Let's get one down here, I guess. I'm like, why would they be letting this battle keep going and going and going unless we were close? I don't know. It appears that we are not close, but because we haven't found anything, but all right. What a waste. Alright, to open sea we go. Unfortunately, a very unproductive sojourn into the mouth of the enemy. And that's it. We're about to end the mission even by time. Okay, 20 knots. Everyone's going, okay, there it is. Oh, they had a battle cruiser. I would have loved. I would have loved this. Where was their battle cruiser in the end? Ship details. Ah, import. They went to port. Damn it. Damn it. I would. Oh man, we would have kicked the crap out of this thing. What a fight it would have been, though. I mean, I don't think I don't, it's hard to even say we would have kicked the crap out of it. They do have advanced director. It, yes, it was, I'm not gonna. I take it back. I mean, we have the advantage. This is a battle cruiser, so 28 knots, 29 knots. Actually, we only have one. We only lose one knot of speed to it. Um, nine 16 inch guns. We have. Wait, I, I I forgot. 
Okay, we have 10 17 inch guns. Yeah, we're massively favored in terms of broadside. We have better deck armor. Same belt. 15 for turrets versus 12 for turrets. Okay, yeah, we would have had a pretty serious advantage. Ah, oh, man, what a bummer. Ah, oh, well, we got our victory, but man, what a missed opportunity. I don't know why that's a significant battle. So that, don't, don't let them off. Okay, we have radar assisted gunnery. This is fantastic. Increases gunnery accuracy with radar. So we have fire controlled radar one. Our scientists report they are close to improved dive bombers. That's good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they sink the US Battlecruiser Valley Forge. Well, wow, that's that's significant. I don't think it's that significant as in, yeah, they have a... We're outnumbered. It's just crazy. We're outnumbered 4 to 1 in terms of capital ships. And that's after they've taken a few losses. So, yeah. Okay, monthly balance is slightly positive. Three more months, can we handle it? No, I don't think so. Okay, three more months, just keep going. I don't think we need to make any changes. Um, I'm curious, are we like over our support here? We have um, 181 points and we have 604 capacity. Well, that's, <laughs> we're fine there. We're at 150 here and we have 59 points. Okay, good. We're, we're perfect in both places so there's no complaints just keep pushing I guess carrier battle heck yeah okay do not hit anything Shinigami's back in this one that's pretty cool okay this is very cool we're close to our air base like this is close enough that we're actually within torpedo bomber range from Taiwan, which is fantastic. Which way are we scouting? Please south, please south, please south. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be south. Yes, all right. So there, that, this is awesome. They're within range of Taiwan for sure. We'll scout 240, I guess, 230, let's compromise. Um, I'm gonna remove this left and I'm going to do 25. Come down a little bit because we don't need to, we don't need to graze like the very edge. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, 230 is fine, but here's what I wanted to do. I want to change this to 195. Yeah, that looks good. So we just don't, we don't need to go down the exact edge. I'll make it 196. Okay, 197. <laughs> yeah, that's better. I like that. This looks good. 230 seems good. We're going to get a lot of scouting help from Ta from Taiwan. Um, maximum cap. Okay. Let's start readying up our aircraft as well. So, everyone... I know that we won't be able to strike this many. I'm sorry. Uh, spot this many, but let's just get them all ready anyway. On heavy load, which is what, 200? Yeah, I just, I can't imagine. I can't imagine we'll need more than that. So we'll do that. Okay, good. Um, let's put this as carrier just to right off the bat, get that done. Um... Yeah, ready, strike. Okay, good, let me also go to, I'm assuming there's another carrier division, and there is. Let's get these guys prepared as well. Looks like we do have this, yep. Yeah. Oh, these are the light carriers. That's right, the tsunamis moved on, but the light carriers did not. Interesting, so it looks like we have three fleet carriers and two light carriers. Interesting, very interesting. So we'll still have 23, 20, yeah, 23-ish dive bombers, or sorry, torpedo bombers. 
I never did replace one of these with uh, dive bombers, but torpedo bombers, in my opinion, are better anyway. I, I want a heavier weight of torpedo bombers. We're about, I mean, when we get the improved dive bomber tech, that's probably going to change. I might want an even amount, because eventually bombs are going to get heavier. I mean, we're going to have, what, 1,500 pound bombs, 1,200? Anything over 1,000, I feel like, is going to cripple a carrier, at least. But no, torpedoes generally, I feel still one. If you're going to take a hit from one of them, I'd much rather take a hit from a bomb. <laughs> Obviously, it depends on where it hits. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let's uh, ready the strike. Everything else is good. So let's go back and revisit this real fast. I'm going to go out to 240, just in case. Again, we should have some help, but maximum cap because we don't want to die. Okay, so we have a interesting, we have a separate, oh, what the hell? Oh no, why? Why are you behind? Okay, so we will be moving to the east to launch, which is just fine. South or north would have been bad. Moving east just moves us, you know, perpendicular to the direction of the enemy, supposedly. I'm guessing they're south. So that's not so bad. What are you? What are you considered? You are independent. Okay, well, we need you guys to go ahead and speed on ahead. Man, what a crazy group of people. I This is just nuts. How are the 11? They gave me the worst. Yeah, they did. Damn it. The worst set of destroyers is guarding my... my carriers. That's okay, we can swap. Kitakazis. Okay, these are worse. They're actually fantastically placed. Except for the Kamikaze, who actually would belong somewhere else. Let's see how you guys are doing. 11, 11. I guess 11 is just my th my number. So maybe I shouldn't write off 11. Like, this is a lot, 30. That would be really nice to assist the carriers with, but... here yeah the 27 that's just massive 19 well it looks at least I don't have to worry about my battleship okay well I think everything's ready I I mean I always think everything's ready when I press play but I'm, I've thought about it for at least a second and something's surely still missing but whatever we'll, we'll figure it out so I'm not gonna adjust anything I'm gonna leave these guys as they are yeah, we do want to launch float planes. That's, we have two float planes? I really got to get put some float planes on those heavy cruisers. That is, had I known, that can't be right. Doesn't show anything, but whatever. Maybe they're already gone. Yeah, 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 they're, well, I don't know what's happening. Anyways, you guys get going very, very quickly. Let's pump you up to 24 just to get you really cooking. Um, we're going to move west or east to launch. So let's actually start moving west. Maybe southwest, west, southwest. That way, that'll also give my heavy cruisers, they'll overlap with my carry, uh, heavy cruisers a little bit longer. This is exciting, though. This is basically the midway. I mean, I'm guessing. I have no idea. They could be. It could be one carrier on the enemy side, but if it's like two or three, then yeah, this really feels like a midway. We're just waiting for reports. Let me just live on the report screen. I wish I. I actually want to like pause on report. Wonder if that's possible. Probably can check. Yeah, new report. Let's do that. It's very, very important. I'm not even sure if we want to... Okay, they're turning into the wind to launch. Okay, that's fantastic. Do we have new reports? No, no new reports yet. Come on, where are they? Find them. 
I don't. I maybe I shouldn't trust that. Not everything is. Uh, 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 uh. I saw a report that Battle Division had been spotted by. So could they be off to the east? We should know something very, very soon here. Okay, so let's um get our carriers into a slightly better formation. Oh crap. I've been I haven't been centered. It's the biggest problem I have with this real wave game. I wonder if I could find a way to capture both screens at the same time so that if one's available, I automatically get it. Okay, well, I got caught up with something for a second, coming back now. Um, they're turning... Oh yeah, where do I want them to go? That's right. Yeah, this is a good question. I guess I want them to stay close to port. <clears throat> so maybe I'll have them actually go north. Because that's true, I forgot. We're actually very close to the port, which is a very good thing. And where are these reports? Okay, no reports. Okay, air combat, 11. Oh, they have a, oh my gosh, I didn't think about this. Where did we scout? I did end up going with 240, because that's actually a good decision, I think, right now. So my torpedo bomber is being attacked. This is a scout, S. So it could be this one. Or it could be that one. <laughs> or it could be this one. Yeah, unfortunately the torpedo bomber is the recon scout of choice for my base apparently. No, that can't be. That can't be. What are you? Torpedo bomber. What are you? Yeah. Medium bomber? Why are medium bombers scouting? Which shouldn't it be a float plane? I mean, not a float plane, but a... Yeah, it's medium bombers. That's weird. What the heck is S? S is... So it's float plane scout FS or F or F. That could be S. Torpedo bomber, obviously TB. Um, flying boat, that's what I'm looking for. PB, that's what I expected the scouts to be, actually. I mean, <laughs> just because that's the way I am just... I mean, World War II history has taught me flying boats are going to be my scouts. Medium bombers, too. That's fine. That makes sense. I mean, this is not completely... Medium bombers definitely did a lot of scouting, a lot of recon missions. But for the water stuff, I would have guessed Catalina's type stuff, obviously. But medium bombers, too, sure. Naval bombers. Yeah, that makes sense. Medium bombers. What the heck is an S? I don't know. I don't know what it is, and I didn't order an S over there, so that's definitely not me. Yeah. Okay, so the torpedo bombers, we just need to see if this is a torpedo bomber. It is. Damn it. So it could be one of four... Okay, we, well, we just have to find out which one disappears. Okay, Cruiser Division 13 has been spotted by enemy aircraft. I think that they're going to be this one, which would be awesome, but it might not be true. It could be one of these two. Yeah, they're so far away, I'm actually going to kind of go back on what I said. We're just going to head south. Because that's so far away, I actually do want to get close enough. Ah. Oh. 
trying to find the one with the dot which disappears. Can I do that? <laughs> Is that cheating? Yes. Well, it just means we have very good rate. Oh, dive bomber. What the heck? What the heck? First of all, I don't think we have the range. This is 300 nautical miles. I Oh, well, you know, they do. Of course they do. On um, on light load. Okay, we got it. Here it is. So it was this one who was attacked. And there are so holy smokes. We're not going to hesitate. We're going to launch and I'm going to launch at the report. This is very rare, but I'm going to choose it. So, um, select already. Damn it, I, if only we had... This is going to we need. There's going to be cap there. Oh, God, it's going to be a slaughter, but we, we're just going to go with it. Because I didn't ready... I stupidly forgot to ready all the other things which I could have readied. I just didn't. I just did not. But who's over the, the limit here? Um... There we go, 49, 52, so you're over the limit, which means I guess the torpedo bombers aren't gonna go, and you're probably over the limit, which means uh, the torpedo bombers aren't gonna go. So we'll have one extra, it'll be three dive bombers and four torpedo bombers, and then immediately, of course, we'll just choose something Okay, so let's choose this as my target. Prior target CVs, 200 nautical miles away. We're barely going to get there with our dive bombers, but we are. <laughs> Turns out 200 nanometers, or nautical miles, man, nanometers. That's, that is true. Uh, 200, <laughs> I work in non, uh, nanometers in my en electrical engineering job, so <laughs> it's very easy for me to mistake the two. 200 nautical miles is was like kind of my gut feeling of how the, like the longest distance you'll need. Well, we've seen here that it can be more than that because we're barely within 200. So probably it's a better way of saying like 250 should be your heavy range and then you don't have to worry about it as much. You know, for torpedo bombers and dive bombers, obviously land-based aircraft, you want it that, you know, the higher the better. Although anything like above a thousand, I feel like it's gonna take them so long to get there. It doesn't matter at that point. Anyway, enough talking. I think I do want to coordinate these strikes. So I'm going to do it this way, bottom two and the non-middle. Okay, so let's do this and let's um, coordinate strike, launch. Then let's go to the next two, bottom two, bottom two and launch. And then we'll do the non-middle and launch. And then after that, in a little bit of time, we'll get hopefully an updated report on this and I'll launch everyone else at that. Now we also have these groups. So it's not too late. Ooh, this is weird. Not a whole lot of fighters there. Let's go back to the other group because I do want to ready some fighters. I don't know how long it'll take them to get ready for escort duty. Maybe just two. We'll ready these guys for escort. 100 to, uh, <laughs> escort duty, I think they'd take long range, but... Okay, um, it is a light load. Okay, so it's a light load for escort, so they actually can make it. Yeah, we'll ready that strike then. We'll do that. And do I also... I think I also want my other carrier to launch her... Uh, to launch at... Ooh, wow, we can only launch one at a time. So no coordinated, stri no coordinated strikes here. I, I mean, since I'm not coordinating them, I can just launch them all, right? No. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll do it one at a time. We'll launch the, the bigger number first. Yes, I'm sure. And then we'll just wait a minute and we'll launch the next ones.
Yep. Okay, this is exciting. We're getting them. We're getting them going. And we need to start moving our fleets in that direction because if it's possible for us to get close enough to engage, that would be still very desirable. And they're going to also have to turn into the wind, so we should probably start looking a little bit further east of their position, since that's the way they, you know, supposedly are going to have to go. Um, I'm going to kick it up to 25, and how quickly can we get you there? Oh, wow, 30. I'm going to go up to 27. I feel like the faster we have people in position, the better. I don't really care about you guys scouting, which is... Maybe not good. Maybe instead, I mean, these, this, they have really high heavy AA and they have a really tight patrol of some very good uh, destroyers. So that, I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna, I was gonna draw the light cruisers back, but I'm, I think I will value them more in their scout positions than as AA defenders. So here we go. And in fact, you don't need to scout. You can move into a de support position because, um, you're, our scouts are already ahead of us. We already know where our scouts are. So, let's do that. Let's go at normal speed. Here we go, the big one. And I think I'm going to actually leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger. Okay, so we have another report. That does not really conflict with our orders. Because we sent... Yeah, this this is still good. I think this, this is, appears accurate. So, let's go ahead and call this video to a close here. It'll be very exciting. Now I will... Really, really got to get the next computer up. I mean, oh, okay, wait, that's right, it's an email. I might have to wait one more day before I swap computers just for Rule the Waves. <laughs> just because I never know how long it's going to take for uh, Chris and uh, the NWS folks to get back to me with a, an updated key and all that. Or not the key, but the, you know, the encryption passing stuff um, based on your computer hardware. So we'll figure it out. I'll hopefully get that back, or maybe I'll, I'll record one more episode, because this is a really interesting fight. I mean, this is the carrier battle that we were hoping to have before the series came to a close. Here it is. This is definitely our midway. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, nothing like midway. We'll find out next episode. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.